Yu-Gi-Oh! has become a fast-paced game where players combo to set up as many negates as possible. But, we mustn't forget where we come from. And in this series, myself and Freaky Fish Guy will face off with Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kaiba's remastered decks, growing them each episode with only £25 of product. Singles will be forbidden. This is Nostalgic Sealed Only. Okay guys, so we, we fucking lost again. <laughs> like, he's getting a bit silly now, like he's pulled ahead now. Uh, again, even further, he's made that longer. So what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna open the Shadol structure deck. I don't know why they sent it like this, but it was cheaper, so, like, win. And then we're gonna open three packs of maximum gold, uh, just because I have them handy, so. Uh, yeah, let's, let's jump into this. We're probably going to use a lot of this, to be honest. We're going to have to change our deck quite a bit again. Um, uh, sure, we all know what is in this. So, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Like, that could help to get rid of his st stupid time feed through doer. Um, that was a very irritating card. Um... Another super poly, so that's technically we have two of those now. Um, law <laughs> Pot of Avarice with the way my deck was, like Pot of Avarice would have been nice. Uh, Shadow Core, uh, yeah, that's basically it. But, um, yeah, let's I'll put those to one side and let's open these. All right. Hopefully we can get something good, something that really help us out. So, C, Fool's Burial Goods, Mistaken Acquisition, Dark Lord Contact, Barrier Inferno, Cosmotown, and, ooh, another Alistair. Maybe. Oh, second pair. Come on. Medolce Hoot Cake, Macphenom Beast, Scrap Recycler, Hey Trunade, Link Karibo. Oh, that's that's interesting. Oh, Levianir and Kagari. Oh, maybe I'll be able to use the Levianir. Link, Link Karibo could be really, really, really helpful. Okay, starting off, we've got a Trap Trick Mentis. We've got quite a few Trap Tricks cards, we might have to use those. Dark Lord Nestin, Lady D Bod, Barrier Statue Drow, Cycle of the Fire Kings, and Ooh, Gold Dark Magician, so Fusion, Guy the Dragon Champion. So, those were not great pulls to be honest. Not great at all. But, um,. Let me get into changing the deck, and then um, I'll show you guys what I come up with. Okay guys, so let's just run through it as quick as possible. Um, obviously there's quite a few changes, I forgot how many cards there is now, but again there's quite a few changes, so um, I'll just try to get through it as quick as I can, uh, and we'll get into the jewels. So we've got one Berserkion, one Valkyrion, and then we're keeping the Gamma, like we're keeping all these, uh, just because... Uh, we still want to get to Imperium because it's just such a powerful card and uh, I want to keep one element at least uh, from the star deck. Then we've got Dark Magician still keeping his place. Coryborn, Coryborn mostly just because it's um, it's a monster reborn, so that's mainly why he's keeping his place. Uh, so now we've got the Leviathan. Now we've got two Alistair, we've got the Jackalope, two Numeron Wall still now that we have the Link Rebo. Uh, we've got Mathematician, so now onto the Shadol stuff basically. Wendy, Hog, Falco, Squamata, Dragon, Beast, and then we've got Golem just to break those boards. And that's it for the monsters. Uh, we're still keeping so Refusion Recycling Plant because actually, if you fuse with um, the Shadol monsters, then I can still add back at the end of the turn, so I'll constantly get back my fusions. Uh, so that's really, really good. Terraforming, just to make sure that we get it. We've got two normal polys, just for the other things. We're still running the one 
uh, fossil fusion, we now have two super poly, uh, one L and one Shadow fusion. Uh, like could could become really handy. Obviously, this is quick to play, which will really help us dodge uh, like the banish effect from ABC. Got two D fusion. Uh, uh, obviously, really good against D fusion, but also if we need to go for game, we can actually D fusion some of our stuff and then go for game with stuff like that. Uh, one pot one revealing so the pot the idea of the pot is because if he tries to um keep putting our stuff in the graveyard if we draw the pot we can shuffle five back and draw and then hopefully do something uh we've got foolish spell shattering arrow uh then more fusion we've got necro fusion um mirror force strike two lost wind now one reg one shadow Core and one Sinister Shadow Games, uh, just to try and get our plays going. <clears throat> so, extra deck. Imperium, Buster Blader, Dark Paladin, still holding true from the structure deck. We've got Fossil Warrior Skull King, still from the first episode. Second, I guess, actually. Invoked Elysium, Kikada now. Um, haven't been able to make it yet, but um, we're hoping we can. Link Rebo, uh, two cross sheep. Uh, now onto the Shadow stuff. We've got Construct, uh, Greaster. So the reason I've put Greaster in is because if I use Lava Golem uh, to get rid of two of his monsters, then I want to be able to poly it away. I don't want to give him a 3000 beat stick. Uh, Construct, Winder, Apcolone, and Cheshanaga. Um, and then just real quickly, I'll show you the extra deck. So because obviously he could just go to dragons if he really wanted to, um, I'll be a little bit nervous about that. So <clears throat> I've got the three Quakimura Drago, the one Dark Magician Girl, uh, and the one Dark Magician. But then, just in case he does go to dragons, I've got three Buster Blader, Emblem to search it, two of the and two of the. Destruction Swordsman Fusion. Um, just in case they come in handy, we've got two Book of Moon, one Cosmic Cyclone, and then the Jinzo. So, um, yeah, Jinzo is just because obviously he's got a few trap cards that are quite annoying, like Fiendish Chain, Call of the Hornet has saved him more than one occasion, so um, just in case we need to put it in. Uh, yeah. And that's it guys, uh, let's hand over to Freaky Fish Guy and see what he's doing. Hey guys, Freaky Fish Guy here, episode 6 of our Sealed Only series. As you saw last week, Time Thief Redo a Mill is the greatest deck that has ever existed. I won't lie, this is the exact same day I've just played that game, and I'm so hyped about what we opened with the Time Thief bits. I'm just going to open another tin and hope to get some more Time Thief bits. This isn't the only thing that we want, we want obviously more Time Thief, we want more of the Continuous Trap card. That is the Dark Factory more production. And we also would like a Appaloosa or a Unchained Link. The Link 3 or 4, I think it is. The one that basically pops a card in the end phase in every turn. Because we have the IP now, what we need now is a fusion, uh, sorry, a Link monster to go into those with. Uh, other things we want is the Hoppier Squadron and other cards like that. Anyway, without further ado, let's just open up this other tin and let's see if we can get out of this one. Right, guys, so once again, we've got three Mega Tin packs. Uh, let's just open up the first one. And see what we get so we do actually want the time thief commons but we'll also be happy with anything else um if we get more tenny stuff we might play tenny dino wrestler marine cess fusion of fire guard dragon core waking i'll read that later because i actually do want the dragon stuff so it's kind of cool another dragon i'm happy with that another guard dragon uh seahorse as our first super if we get enough marine cess stuff we could transition into a marine cess deck the whole core is in the tins but i don't feel like we got enough last week and i'm probably not going to open many more of these um depending on what we get this time another blue tank Destined Rivals. Uh, this is Blue Eyes support, so it's actually really nice because we do play Blue Eyes. Gladiator Beast. Unfortunately, this isn't the uh, the uh, Ultra we want. I don't think, fingers crossed, is going to be happy. I now have three Redo. If we manage to pull an Extravagance, uh, uh, part of Extravagance, then that means I can play three Redo. Uh, Marine Test Wave. Crown Tail. We're getting a lot of Marine Test stuff. Salmon Great. Glad Beast, Unchained, Tenyi, and Marine Test Bell Ocean. That was a Marine Test pack, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> um, yeah, our third time P3 duo is nuts. And we're still on the Appaloosa, mainly. Yes. Um, 
a dark, I'll make this. That is nice because that's technically another one. Vala Mitchamira, Salaman Great. All right, give us a, a, a Appaloosa, please. Don't care about the evil stuff. Valkyrie, whatever this name is. It's a trap card. Ah, oh, it's another witchcraft. Again, this is the problem with the tins. They have so many bad ultras. Um, maybe a good secret. Oh, Mad Plus Fusion. Uh, we don't have any fusions that we can make really unfortunately with this. Maybe if we get like a Dragoon, <laughs> that would be nice. If we can also get Red Eyes out of somewhere. Nope. Nope. Uh, oh, another hop here. This is nice because this is, again, what we wanted from the other pack. We're getting a lot of doubles now. Um, Spiral Serpent is worth talking about because if we play like a Dragon Link deck, I keep going on about it. We're probably not going to play like Dragon Link as it's known in the meta, but we'll play like a weird version of it. But that's quite nice. We'll put that aside. Last pack. We want an Appaloosa. We want another trap card that gives us draw power, the Dark Factory more production. Um... Ideally another regulator, because now we've got two winder, two bezel ship. A regulator would mean we'd have like a perfect engine. Uh, another guard dragon. Another dino wrestler. Pegasus wing. Guard dragon shield. Time thief hack. Time thief spell. I'll read that in a minute. That's actually really important. And we got the tar the dark factory of more production. That is like amazing. We're on to our supers. Uh, unchained soul of anguish. This unfortunately is the unchained that needs a um unchained monster. Rogue and Dimion, that's kind of upsetting. Uh, here we go, this is the Ultras, it's the important part. First is a spell. Fusion Destiny, um, we can't play this. It is a monster. Another Wielder. Um, I mean, I'll take this. If we get enough, well, I mean, with this basically makes our Wielder a little bit more uh, accessible. Neos Fusion, uh, not, no, no nice uh, links. Guru, Infinitrack, Infinitrack, Mulk. Rising Fire, Evil Eye, and last card, Guided to Beast Charge. Um, again, as far as tins go, this was actually, it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I'm still happy with it. Um, we didn't get any IP um, targets, so we didn't get Appaloosa or the Unchained Monster. We got a Wielder, which is very nice. Um, we got another Redoer. And more importantly, we got another bezel ship. So this is actually probably the stuff that will go into the main deck straight away. Um, I'll read this in a minute. It could be playable. It could be terrible. Um, Hoppy Squadron is nice. Uh, things for Future. This is nice for Future. The Galactic Spiral. Maybe this. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a skill drain. But you have to have a blue eyes. So that's not the most playable card that we have. And obviously this as well going in the main deck. This we might play because it is a nice floater. Anyway guys, that was our tin opening. What we do now is we jump into a quick deck synopsis and see how our build is updated. Hi then guys, so here is our deck profile for our deck this week. You may have noticed as well we have changed the sleeves. Sometimes you just need to change the sleeves over to keep things nice and fresh and I actually think the black and the white works really well. Um, I'm actually really happy with our deck. It almost looks good. Um, but the only thing you got to remember guys is that good is relative. Uh, this may be good for mine and finger cross series, but we still aren't playing any spell and trap removal We still don't have any hand traps and flats. So if we took this to like an actual locals event, I'd probably get a, a Bottom tables quite quickly, but I might actually try it I might go to some locals with this and see how it goes the deck hasn't changed a lot since last episode We're still playing a time thief engine uh, It's just the fact that the deck is now more consistent because we opened certain two ofs into the main deck thing guys We're still playing CBA um, Can't really be asked to explain it, but it's a good card uh, two heavy mech, the time thief engine is still in here, we've now got two uh, bezel ship, which means it will be more consistent. Two hop here, because again, more consistency is key. Two psychic wielder now, two sparrow now, one ogre pogo, and then obviously our blue eyes package on the end. Uh, we're basically two of the deck, there's anything, one obviously a malefic and the ogre pogo. On to our spells guys, we're still playing two hanger, frontline base, econ. Majesty and the new one of Time Thief Hack. So what this means is that my redoers can now attack directly if I if they have something stolen by the opponent, which they will because standby phase I steal one of their cards. And also it gives them an attack boost, so it makes them bigger. So we can get up to like 3k redoers, which would be amazing. Because at the moment our wink on is redoer beatdown. 
And finally, the traps, two called by the Haunted, one Faithful Hour. This is basically another call of Haunted for like an extra deck monster. So that includes my Redoer, my Busters, and my opponent's Fusion. So this is actually a really nice card. We put in the main. Uh, still playing a two Dark Factory, cycle through those ABC pieces, um, get to draw some cards. And then finally, finally two Phoenix Chain as our interruption. Looking at the extra deck guys, uh, it's pretty much exactly the same, the only thing that changed is we took out one of the Shunos that we're never making for another redoer, having three redoers, great, we have so much growing game now, it is unbelievable, um, bear in mind we can bring them back with Call of the Haunted and they still do the same job, but they don't need to have the original materials, um, like this is basically now to redo a turbo ABC with an ABC engine to back up to eventually make Buster. Um, it would be nice again to get a target for IP, but for now we're just working with what we've got. And then the side deck, guys, is again pretty similar to last week. We've actually sided now the Crush God Virus Engine. It was really good, but I wanted to make some space for those extra two ofs that we're playing, and I just thought it'd be good to stick in the side. We've also got one new uh, sp Spiritual Entanglement. Uh, basically, it can banish an opponent's monster to the end phase. So go second, side it in, maybe banish or bait and negate from the Imperion, and then I can start making my plays as well. Anyway, guys, that is our deck for week six of our sealed only series. Uh, I'm actually really happy with how this deck is turning out. Uh, I know that basically I have the better engine, but fingers crossed does have the better boss monsters, in my opinion. He has the Imperium Battlebot, which he didn't get. Unfortunately, you managed to get it out last episode because we did manage to crush card the Berserkion. But like the episode before that, if he can get that out and I don't have a way to out it, the game is in his hands. Uh, yes, Redo is really strong, but it's not. Uh, it doesn't have any negates. If he can pull something that will just blow up my board, then I lose every game pretty much. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let's go to the match. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon Time Feet Winder and use the effect on summon to search for Time Feet card. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, we have any hand traps in the format. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Uh, I'm going to add Time Thief Regulator. Then I'm going to set two and pass ten. Okay, I'm going to draw. Hmm. I'll activate Fusion Cyclone Repair Plant. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, effect? Yep. Discard the Alistair. Add in the I just want to thin my deck a little bit. Mm. Polly? No, I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, what is this one do? Oh, the worst <clears throat> one. Uh, I'll set to and attempt to go down phase. Uh, uh. Voice break. If I'm gonna at the end of your main phase activate Hoppier Squadron, targeting Winder to summon an end synchro summon. <coughs> sure. Summon uh, synchro for level six into uh, Blackwing No Thumb. What's that? No mean? effects on summon. Okay. Uh, on effect? summon, it targets a uh, water suit draw and minus 800. Okay. You don't have a monster in target, so it's fine. Right, and uh, what's this effect normally? What else can it do? I can normal summon the black wing in addition to my normal summon set. Okay. Yeah, and then it's pop. bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this attack? Uh, 2400. That's literally the reason I made it. No worries. Yeah, plus two. Uh, draw for turn. Yeah. Uh, activate Union Hanger. Oh, um, I'll activate Sinister Shadow Games. Is that the one where you send one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So you're gonna send one, and I'm gonna add one. Uh, I don't think you can add. Uh, the hangar adds. Yeah, but uh, if I send something, I'll be able to do, or it'll be on a new chain link. It'll be on a new chain. Ah. Uh, Alright, yeah, that's, yeah, fine, yeah, fuck, that's annoying. Uh, add crush one. Well, I'll tell you, I add after you send, but yeah, then it'll be a new chain. Yeah, I'll send Wendy, Wendy effect. 
uh, summon one from deck, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yo, are we seeing Shadol? <laughs> it's definitely more consistent. Yeah, I like this. I like this already. It's kind of cool. And they're all Dale Dark Spellcast as well. Uh, definitely and, a Yugi deck. Yeah, and fun fact. Sheshinaga needs a uh, Shadol and an Earth Monster. <laughs> My magnets are out. Magnet yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Synergy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, normal summons the effective hanger to equip. Yep. I will equip B. Uh, I'm going to activate Call of the Haunted targeting Winder. Yeah. So, special winder. Uh, winder effect and summon to search. Yeah, that's fine. Yo, we're popping off. I'm gonna add Time Thief Hack. Yeah. This is a new card that I technically got this week. This is not a during, the during the turn, there's special summon to XZ monsters you control can't be destroyed by opponents without card effects or targeted. Uh, you can target one face of X or Z on control against 300 attack for each material, and if it has a material that is owned by your opponent, then it can attack directly. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to activate Time Thief Hack, and then going to overlay C and Winder for a redo. <laughs> uh, B is going to fall off. Um, B effect to search. Yep. B will then add A. Um, I'm going to use Time Proof Hack to target the Redoer, so it gains 300 attack per uh, equip. So it goes up to 3 per okay. yeah. Per equip? And it can't be targeted. Uh, yeah, per, per attack, so it gets 600, 600, so it's on 3 pay. Okay. Uh, I will enter Battle Phase, and yeah. we'll go. Uh, um, we're going no thung into the one near the, the, the fusion plant because that's the beast, I think. Yeah, there's beast. He's one seven. So effective beast. Draw two, discard one. Uh, discard fossil fusion. Oh, okay, yeah. and then beast dies. Yeah. Uh, and we'll go three k and on the face down. It's Falco and Ooh. Falco effect special summon beast. Yep. Synergy. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna pass turn there. So, just turn. We're gonna stand by phase. I'm gonna activate a uh, redo to equip. Think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's actually fine. That's uh, terrifying. Oh, I think fucking took that. Oh, I Don't need it, I've already got more plan. Um. Yeah, go on, Betty. Betty just messaged me saying he's going to order the Buster Blader cards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, beast, Beast Effect. Uh, it goes to attack. Oh, sorry. sorry. That's right. Uh, yeah, Beast Effect is okay. So, one, two. Look at these, hand Look at these cards, man. I'm plussing. <laughs> I am plussing. Do you have any of the yeah, Shekinaga? I wonder if you have any of the other Shadol fusions. Like, if you make a Winder, that will be actually quite hard to me to out. I was unsure I whether Winder was fair, though. That's the only problem. Uh, I think the way it's going at the moment, you you, you can do with a Winder. <laughs> fair enough. Um, just trying to think. So, discard wall from, obviously, Beast. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I have quite a lot of outs to win there when I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the attack of the Synchro is 2 4. 2 4, yeah. Blackwing. I'm going to activate Super Poly. Blackwing Time Thief. Super Poly? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. So, Time Thief. And uh, Beast. That has. <laughs> Can't, I can't respond to that. <laughs> yeah, for a window. Yep, that's fine. Set one. Set 
to... I think set that one. Yes, I do want to set that. So just checking them all. Right there. So I can make that. Uh, then I think I'll pass. Does your spell not go? Uh, Windows. Uh, no, it's a continu continuous spell. Okay. Uh, Windows 2 2, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, draw for turn. Yes. Stand by, main phase. Yes. Uh, I'm going to normal summon A. Uh, effective hanger to equip. Yeah, that's fine. I will equip a B. Uh, for my one special summon turn, I'm going to banish A, B, C to summon Buster. Uh, Any response to the summon? Yeah, I think I can. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll activate Knock, 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 Necrofusion. I don't know why I can knock. Necrofusion. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be Chain Link 1B, Chain Link 2 Necrofusion. But yeah, that's fine. So, Falco. And Wendy for Apcon. Uh, okay, Ap so resolve B. Yep. And I will add I'll add A to my hand. No problem. Uh, have clone effect. Negate your Buster. Uh, I think. Ooh, that's quite annoying. Um. I will chain the buster to discarding. Tag yeah, I will discard A to banish the window. Oh, banish. With the ab clone, can it attack still? Yeah. Okay. Uh, enter battle phase? Sure. Uh, Buster Our clone is too far. The... Yeah, attack over the upcoming. Mirror Force. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yo. Uh, main phase two, set one, pass turn. Could I draw for ten? That is not a good draw. Mm -hmm. Oh, flip. Uh, Shadow Dragon. So, target one card your uh, opponent controls, return it to the hand. Uh, what are you going to bounce? So, the set closest to your extra. Yeah, that one. Extra. Yeah, that one. Just return it to um, hand. I'm going to think. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Activate polymerization. Yeah. So Yo <laughs> mm. yeah, sure, sure. So Attempt to end the battle phase? Uh, yep. Uh, attack with Apcolon? Uh, how big is Apcolon again? 2-5. 2-5, yep. And Sheshinaga? It's 2-6. Uh, yep, that's fine. Then I'll pass to you. Or draw for turn. Oh, sorry, wait, what, what does... I will... Hang on one sec. Sorry. Yep. Sorry, uh, when I send Shadow Dragon, I get to destroy a uh, spell trap. What did you send it with? Uh, oh, Polly, yeah, yeah. 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 So the other set. Uh, uh, um, in that case, I would use it to put the Shekinaga in defense, so I'll, take, I'll gain 3k. 2 6, gain 2 6. Oh, 2 6, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, and continue. That's right. 
Dwarf uh, 10. Yeah. What's the defense of Shaken Ogre? 3,000. 3,000, yeah. Alrighty then, boys. Let's hope we get a good one. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon Regulator. Yeah. We're gonna use the effect tributing it for cost to summon two time thief from deck. Okay. We're gonna summon a bezel ship and a winder. And then I'm gonna activate winder effect to add one. I'm going to add another yeah, bezel ship. Listen. I will overlay. Yeah, for the second time, thief. Yep. Deck out again, let's go. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> Win condition established. Uh, I'm going to activate time thief hack to target the redo, so it goes up to 3k. Yeah. Uh, okay, battle phase, attack into your ab clone. Yep. Yep, so I take 500. Yep. What does ab clone do when it goes to grave? It adds a shadow spell, right? Or trap? Uh, but I can only do it if um, it's sent to grave. Oh, is it by card effect? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. All the yeah, all the should also sent by card effect, not just sent to grave. That's why they're not BA. Yeah. Um, set one and pass turn. Okay. Stand by phase. Redo a de deck out. Here we go. Uh, oh, mathematician's a great one. Uh, I should have I've put away all my monsters. Um, that's kind of annoying to us. My bad. We use this ram ram. Mm. Fuck. It's on 3 3 now, isn't it? Uh, no, this, the attack boost is only until the end of turn, so it's, it's, it's back to 2 4 now. Oh. So it gets big for the turn, and it can't be destroyed on the turn it's summoned. So oh. now it's just it's back to normal. I can use it again next turn to pump it up again. Oh, okay. Uh, Sweep Sheshanaga to attack. Uh, uh, yeah. Go to battle phase? Uh, end of your main phase. I'm going to activate Dark Factory more production. What does that do? Uh, and use your f uh, you can discard or send one card from field or hand to grave to draw a card. I'm going to send Blue Eyes' to cost to draw one. Sure. Uh, entering battle phase is fine. Uh, attack into Time Thief? I'll activate Redo Effect to tag out for the turn. Sure. Uh, when this card is destroyed, oh, I ask for destroyed. Uh, so redeclare declare and uh, attack directly. Yep, I'll take two six yes. to the face. Two six in the face. Uh, I'll set one and pass mm -hmm. to you. End phase. Redo comes back. Draw for turn. Yep, stand by stand phase. Stand re redo it. Lava Golem. Yo, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to activate Dark Factory, just got a time keep regulator for cost to draw one card. Yep. Uh, activate time keep hack, target the redoer, so it goes up to 2 7. Sure. Uh, yeah, activate bezel ship in grave, detaching your lava golem to summon the bezel ship. Uh, yeah. What attribute is the bezel ship? Dark. Do you have another super body? It's dark. Yeah, it's dark. All the time thieves are dark. Okay. Uh, oh, normal summon bezel ship? Yep. Overlay into my third redo. No, that's a joke, man. That's <laughs> such jokes. Three. Oh. Three redo of one deck. Let's go. <laughs> uh, enter battle phase. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna 
the big the two seven redo it into your second argo. Yep. So I take one hundred. Yep. And then two four directly. Yep. So I'm down to five k. Yep. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna read this. Can it? Yeah, oh, you're gonna take two cards now. That is ruthless. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be milling you out even quicker. Uh, main phase two. I'll set one, and I will pass turn. Okay, I'll draw. Down by phase. Uh, redo of no material. Chenic one. Redo with material. Chenic two. Uh, pot of avarice, and squamata. Yep. So a spell and a monster. Awesome. So. I don't have to do that. Oh, fuck's sake. Set one and pass. In the end phase, I'm going to activate Call of the Haunted targeting my Buster in Grave. Yep. ABC Time Thief Best Dick. Let's go. <laughs> uh, 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 thinking. I'm gonna activate the Dark Factory, discard this to draw one in the end phase. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna activate Buster, discard this to banish your back row. Super Poly. Uh, it's banished, but yeah. Oh, um, it's not gonna matter. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate the Redo Attack, detach the spell to draw another card as well. The Pot of Avarice. Yeah. Uh, draw for turns. Uh, yeah, draw for turn. Standby phase, redo a redo. So, sudden strike and defusion. Awesome. So, the spell and the trap. Oh, the trap's a nice one. That's it, anyways. Just go, do it, attack. Uh, yeah, we'll go Buster, discard Wyvern to, to banish your monster. Yeah, Cory Vaughan. And then attack again. Uh, I'm gonna banish ABC. Oh, come on, mate. You don't need to flex like this. It's game. I've got 5k. <laughs> tap for game. Ruthless, mate. Oh, sorry. I tap for 3k. Yeah, okay. Do you want to go first or second? I'll go second still. Okay. Make that shell fusion live. Go second. Uh, we're going to start off normal summon, time thief, bezel ship. Set two. And pass turn. Okay, I'll turn. Mm -hmm. What's this attack? Uh, 1000. Normal summon alpha, alpha effect. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So where'd you get all the Shadol bits from? Shadol Shush there. Oh, nice! I like that. Oh. Well, I've not been having good pack luck ever. I've been having terrible pack yeah. luck. I think the only time yeah, I've had right. good pack luck was the first lot when I got Skull King and Fossil Fusion. Fossil Fusion. Other than that, what, what, like all my packs have been piss poor. Mm -hmm. So, I decided to just play it safe. Uh, no, that's a smart idea, smart idea. Yeah. Attempt to end the battle phase. Uh, end your main phase. I'm going to activate Hopper Squadron in hand, target the bezel ship. Uh, sure. Uh, summon and then synchro for six. Into uh, no thumb. Thinking. And then no thumb. Uh, thinking on summon. Activate Lost Wind. Aren't you going second? Sorry? Oh, yeah, sorry. Aren't you going second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. um, on summon, it's going to minus 800 the alpha, so it's down to about uh, 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah we'll pass. <laughs> uh, draw for attack. Yeah. Uh, we'll just go straight to battle phase and attack 2 4 into alpha. So, 1 4 I think. Yep. 
I'm not gonna lie, my hand is not great. I'm gonna set one and pass. Cool. Activate fusion circling with pepper. He's got the poly. Yeah, that's fine. Effect. Discard poly. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Can, just trying to thin it. I'm just trying to thin the deck, man. <laughs> <laughs> just want to thin it. That's all. Wait, I don't. I don't want to draw it. Add, confusion cipher plan. Add super poly. Add one polymerization. Oh, okay, no, just add to normal poly. Yeah, that's what I thought. It made me rethink that. And I was like, oh, super poly. I got plays. Oh, <laughs> uh, set one and pass. Oh, I drew a bad hand. I draw for turn. Yeah. I mean, my hand is not much better. Stand by main. Yeah. Battle face. Yeah, attack in. Yep, yeah, two four in. Yeah, over there. Uh, pass turn. Come on. Come on. No. No, why are you doing this to me? Set and pass. Draw. Uh, straight again, battle face. Yeah. Over Alice. No uh, pass. There was like four cards in it. More, probably more than that. I just need to draw one and then I'll be good. Oh, that is not it. <laughs> I mean, my strategy right now is black one, no thing, beat now. Well, actually, I suppose. Um, Elfstyle Fusion? Yep. Beast and Berserkion. Or Shishinaga. Uh, beast effect Yo. to draw one. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Set one mysterious so card now. <laughs> Fuck. Yep. I honestly didn't see it, I was looking at my cast. Oh, oh, that's good. Attempt to enter battle phase? Uh, yeah. Uh, attack into, attack over your thing? Oh, I'm taking too much. Done fat 200 damage, boy! Uh, my black queen. Oh, no. And then I'll pass to you. In the end phase, I'm gonna activate Take full hour. What does that do? Target one. Target one monster that cannot be normal summoned here or set in either player's graveyard to special summon it. I'm going to target my nerf stuff. So it's basically like monster reborn, set extra deck stuff. Sure. So I summon the nerf back. back. Uh, and then I will draw for 10. Yeah. I'm going to activate Megamorph and equip it to your Shekinaga. What does that do? So while my life points are higher, the equipped monster's attack is halved. So Shekinaga goes from 2 6 to uh, 1 3 attack. Sure. Uh, while, your, while your life points are higher, the attack monster gets doubled. So I can either double my own or half yours, depending on what the life points are. Okay. Uh, I will go to battle phase. I think. Mm -hmm. I'll activate Super Poly. Discard Dark yeah, Magician. Sheshanaga and yours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, one well, being stupid. I was like, oh, he's still gonna attack over my window. No, you're not. <laughs> you get rid of one monster. Yeah, yeah, I'm so stupid. Yeah. Uh, I will oh, and Sheshanaga effect. Game. I can add back Shadol, El Shadol. Yep. Do I have to discard that? I will. I don't think so, no. No, no, no it's Apcon. Yeah. I will set one in Memphis 2 and fast tap. I mean, you're not that far behind, you're only 1200 life points behind, and you have a win <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Just attempt to have the battle case. 
Uh, yep. So, window attack. You're going to have to make all of the horn to target to my no thumb. Yep. Special summon. It's 2 4. Uh, I'll uh, activate Lost Wind to negate it and uh, half his yep. attack. Yep, that works. Window attack over. Uh, so 12, so take 1000. Main phase 2. Uh, yep. Set 1. Pass. Mm -hmm. uh, draw for 10. I'm going to set 1. And pass turn. Uh, sure. Do turn? Yeah. So, more action. Um, go to battle phase. Uh, yep. Yeah. Attack of window. I'm gonna uh, activate Phoenix Chain targeting your window. So it can't attack and its effects are negated. Um, thinking. Mm -hmm. So another super poly. No, I'll activate Necrofusion. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So banish, banish. Applone, Applone effect, negate uh, Fiendish Chain. Yo! That's what, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that works. So now attack with window two two and two five half turn. Uh can it attack in the future? The time oh no not Apricone, yeah, just two two window, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's my mistake. That's right. Uh just, so yeah, just two, two, two two. That's why I wanted to do it in your turn, but for I'll wait just in case. I might be thinking of something else. Uh No no no, it is correct. Yeah, no, it is correct. It is correct. Okay. Awesome. Set one. Uh, and... My turn? Yeah, your turn. Draw for turn. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this, boys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to activate Dark Factory with more production. Sure. Discard Wielder to draw one card. Sure. Set one. And pass turn. Sure. Draw. Mm hmm. Seven one. Uh, battle phase. Uh, yeah. Uh, window into your face now. Uh, it is a B. Uh, B effect is that. Uh, sure. B search for C. Uh, Apple. Uh, yep, I'll take 2 5. And then I'll pass. Uh, in the end phase, I activate Dark Factory, discarding A to draw one. Sure. Do you know I just realised as well? I could have added back cards from uh, Fusion Cycle. Fusion Cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Three. That's Yu Gi Oh! players, uh, notorious for not reading cards. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm gonna... Ooh, this is a really hard one. This is a big decision here. I'm gonna activate Okafogo. Sure. So... We'll start one closest to your extra deck. Yep. So two, so closest to your extra deck. Hoping to draw. You hit, you hit the Okafogo. No draw. Oh. And his is to reborn, yeah? Uh, no, his is the Forge Burial, the center of the deck. And ah, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to normal summon C. Sure. I'm going to activate enemy controller attributing Wyvern for cost to steal your window. Uh, yeah. Think. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've messed up here. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, yeah, that works. It's still fun. I'm going to activate defusion. It still works. I'm going to activate defusion. It doesn't work. No. Uh, okay. Uh, so, 
I only have one. I only have one monster in there. Can I summon the one or no? Ooh, we might have a audience question. What's the wording? Uh, no, I can't. It says if all the fusion materials that we use for this fusion summoner in the graveyard and only dark conditions, so I can't. This is good. Okay. So it just bounces back. So you. Uh, no, I see that. I take control of it. How can you take control oh, of it? Because I've defusioned. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, that does annoy me because I can't get the draw. But I can now banish ABC. Sure, Sean. The plan was I was going to steal it and then send it with Dark Factory to draw one. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll summon Buster Dragon from Extra Deck. Okay, you I'll... get to trigger the Lost Wind. Yeah, so I'll trigger the yeah. Lost Wind to set. Mm -hmm. And can I activate? Uh, not this turn because it's set. Oh, okay, I'll activate the other one then. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> chain buster because I can to banish your abdomen while I still can. Sure. Uh, and then I will pass turn because I can't do anything else. Okay, oh wait, yeah, attack for fifteen. I'll do that first. I think that's. I think they've done it again. I think that's going to be game again. I'm um, fucking your shit. Uh, my, bu my buster is 15 and negated, don't forget, permanently. Yeah, but I didn't draw any monsters as per your death card. So, past 10. You've got a few, you've got a few turns to draw. Uh, Fuck past the dragon. I'm going to add the Dark Factory, discard Wilder to draw one. Sure. You'll notice that is my second Wilder, by the way. Um, battle phase 15. And then I will pass turn. Draw. Um, I'll set one and pass. Uh, draw for turn. Gonna activate Dark Factory, discard C to draw one card. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tribute the Buster to normal summon Salmon Great Paro. Uh, battle phase. Yeah, attack for how much? Uh, attack, attack 2k. So basically, I've got one, one turn. Yeah. Uh, pass turn. Draw. Set. Fuck set. Mm -hmm. And pass. Uh, in the end of your main phase, I'm going to activate Hot Pier Squadron, target the power. Yeah, that's fine. So I then sit for summon for seven. I'm going to summon the Macro's Dragon and activate the effect from summon to destroy all cards on the field. Uh, I'm gonna activate last one. Yeah. Uh, draw for turn. So that one's finished. Uh, go to battle phase. Yep. Uh, attack for 12, because it's halved. Miracles. I knew it! I literally knew it. I'm like, I'm gonna play around like a miracles and just try and wipe the board, and then you, you, know, you know you had a loss win, but I just knew you had something. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> Uh, in, okay, in response to Mirror Force, I'm going to activate Dark Factory to send Black Rose to draw one, so I get to draw out of it. Yeah, that's fine. Draw. That doesn't help. Uh, set two, and pass turn. Oh, come on, a monster. A monster. A monster. So I'm on 2-1, you're on 16. <laughs> it's a close game. Uh, normal summon Wendy. Yeah. Go to battle phase. Uh, I'm going to activate Majesty, target the Wendy, send the blue eyes for cost, uh, Wendy can't attack. Sure. Uh, I'll chain Shadolko. Mm -hmm. uh, still in battle phase, activate Shadol Fusion. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The Wendy. Uh, yep. I think Shadow Core. Cool. Uh, when it's sent, I can add back a Shadow card. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So I'll add back El Shadow. Uh, 
Uh, when do you attack? Uh, I'm gonna activate Cleanse of Haunted. Oh, so oh, man. Seeing, uh, target the Buster. Think right. Oh my god. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, sure. Oh, I can't stop it, can I? <laughs> Fucking joke, man. Uh, obviously, I'll get to activate the other Lost Wind to set. Yep. Not that it's gonna matter. Yeah, pass. I mean, Lost Wind does stop the Buster from killing you. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, can. Uh, uh, I'm gonna think here. Um, I mean, I kind of have to wait for you to do it. Enter, uh, go to enter battle phase. Yeah. Uh, bust uh, attack into the window. I think. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> so three. So I'll take eight. Fucking sixteen. <laughs> this is technical play. I'm just trying to think what's best to do. If it goes there, I can add back core. And the next card needs to be fucking ridiculous. So I actually think I'll let you destroy them. Oh, no way, actually. No, 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 because you got. Yeah, I'll activate Lost Wind. Uh, I will chain the Buster. Just got the D to banish the window. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will re declare 15 direct. Sure. Put you on 100. Uh, I will pass 10. If you can out a 15 uh, attack, no, that's it, that's game. Win. No, that's it. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yo. Uh, 